Welcome! In this video, I want to talk about tag functions or tag templates. A useful JavaScript syntactic sugar to pass string template literals as arguments to a function. All right, I have an empty index.js file here and let's write a tag function. I'll start with the actual function invocation. Let's say my function is called greet for this use case. You, to call a tag function, you specify the function name and then immediately after that, you use a string template literal. And in this case, I will actually write a greeting. I'll define a person object so that I have something to pass as expressions in the template literal. And this person object will have a name and an age, just some dummy data. So I will pass hello person name, exclamation mark. Maybe I'll also specify age like this. The data is not very important in this specific use case. We want to check out how the arguments are passed. So now let's write the actual function greet above. As this is called as a tag function, here I have two parameters which are passed as arguments from the tag function. The first parameter is the greeting or the string, the main string body. I will opt for greeting. And then we have name and age which are the actual expressions in the template, template literal. You can have as many of these as you want, depending on how many you pass into the template string. Now, if I console walk these parameters, we can take a look at what is passed. All right, so let's execute the, uh, the actual file now with Node.js. And here are our parameters. The first one is an array of substrings. You see that the first substring is hello empty space, hello white space, and we have age and then the exclamation mark. So the array is split by where the actual expressions in the template literal are. And then the expressions are passed as additional arguments. Here I can destruct to some arbitrary variable name, parameter name. And if we check that out now, we will have an array of parameters, which in many cases is a better idea depending on what you need the function to do, because this will scale to infinite parameters very well, while in the other case, you have to write a name for each additional parameter. All right, so this is not a terribly useful function right now. Let's write something more useful. Tag functions have many use cases. Some of these are, for example, to format HTML or in our, any other templating language. So I'll write a format greeting function, which will accept the string and a name. And it will return a string, which will be formatted HTML. So I will use the first substring, then the name, and then the last substring. All right. And I want the name to be in a different tag to format it differently. Let's make it bold, for example. This is a very frequent use case formatting HTML with a function. And now if I modify this code a bit to pass only name and change the code to format greeting, I also need to console walk that because we return a string now. And if I execute my function, I get my formatted HTML. This is a great use case for a tag function. Another great use case is to actually execute SQL queries. I'll give an example with MySQL2, for, for example, just as a database communication library. If we look at the MySQL2 documentation, here's how you make a query, a sample query right here. Let's paste it. Any selection from a table, you insert a question mark and then you pass an array of parameters for the user defined inputs. This is done because uh, if you do string concatenation here or use a template literal, you're vulnerable to SQL injection attacks. So SQL queries need to be prepared first. That's a term that's used, preparing. And we can use, this syntax is quite cumbersome with a callback function and passing uh, separately the query and an array. It's much cleaner if we have it as a, temp, uh, as a tag function. So we can do, an interface function to make a query. That's a frequent use case for tag functions. In fact, Vercel's Postgres uh, library uses tag uh, has the ability to use uh, gives you the ability to use a tag function 
in order to execute a query. So let's make a similar interface now. I'll call my function query and it will again accept a, a query string and I'll destruct two params this time because I want it to work with an infinite number of parameters. And if I, let's actually make a call to that query function as a tag function, of course, and let's do a sample uh, query. Select everything from users, maybe uh, where name is equal to person name and uh, age is equal to person age. All right, so here's a sample query, very similar to this one actually. And um, you see how more concise it, how much more concise it is when we use a template literal to include the arguments inside of the string. So now in this query, I have my array of substrings, which will be three substrings basically. And uh, this one, and this one, and an empty one at the end. I can join them basically to make my actual query. I'll call this substrings and my query will be substrings join, join, and I'll join them with a question mark. What this will do is it will insert these question marks exactly in the places where my uh, expressions are in my template letter, which is what I want for an SQL query in this case. And I have my parameters right here, which are exactly as my SQL2 wants them, for example, but most DB connectors will want the parameters as an array to prepare the query. And now I can just execute connection query with my query and params. And of course, this uh, specific interface has a callback function with an error and results object. And as this is an asynchronous operation, in most cases, I will return a promise. If this is really uh, a real use case, I'll return a promise. And here I will resolve or reject it. If I have an error, I will reject with the error. Otherwise, I would resolve. This is how I would write it usually. If I want to make this function in something like a production application or a proof of concept. So here's a good example uh, for preparing queries with tag functions. With this, I'll wrap today's video. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe to get notified when another video is released. Take care.